Good morning, European traders. Privateer FX coming at you. Friday, end of the week. Almost end of the month, 23rd. Not much to say today. I won't be trading today. I'm going to go skiing with a bunch of pals at our annual ski weekend that we call FIST. Fixed income, currency, strategic, basically a piss up uh, in the Swiss Alps, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but as always, before I leave, I take a quick look at the charts. This looks like the best situation today. We've been, we've been working on this euro starting short all week. Uh, we still like it. Two, two nice tails. Thursday, Wednesday. Now today we're inching on this lower low. Um, 306 should attract some attention. We do feel like this is going to trade down there. As far as extension, I'm not sure. So we're kind of moving on this sort of core short type of deal. We got CPI today in Europe out at 11. Could could move things. Um, hasn't in a while. It could move things, especially if it's hot. And then uh, euro heads higher, and this euro sterling is going to have some trouble. But we're core short euro sterling. We're going to manage around uh, CPI and see how we do. Uh, speaking of CPI, euro now is kind of interesting. We almost bullish engulfed yesterday, and. I would argue that if you do see prices through 52 and 62, the bullish case is back on. We're not long, um, and we could easily see this thing go the other way. Uh, we don't have a direct directional bias here, but we start getting bullish, so what we call the bull bear line, let's call it 123.60. Quick look at the cryptos, coming back down. Chuck your bids in, 82, 72, 62, 83, 73, 63, wherever. Be imaginative. Uh, and once you get them, sell out 80% of the longs at a 10% profit. Core, short, you know, your average then becomes 3,500 or 2,500, and then you sit. We've done this a number of times, and we will continue to do it. Use the volatility of cryptos to your advantage. What else is there? Oh, yeah, Dollar Swiss. We hate Dollar Swiss, as you all know. But interesting little top there at 94.09. Uh, I have no idea how or why this might work, but Dollar Swiss bearish engulfed yesterday. Um, I don't know. But uh, perhaps the downtrend in dollar Swiss ends if we get prices above 94.09. Not super helpful right now. I'm just pointing it out on the bigger picture. And voila, that's about it. Uh, core short euro sterling. And then if you're going to be tac tactical around releases, 11 a.m. Swiss time, European CPI. Good luck, people. No New York video today. I will be at 2,000 meters. Ciao.